in the end, it, it, it's almost like we have to start treating our online um, activities as, as the equivalent of, of the real space brick and mortar world in which we do business. So if in the real world we go to a storefront and it looks kind of shaky and they're selling things that look like they didn't come from the manufacturer, that gives us some signals that maybe things aren't right. Maybe the goods are good, maybe the goods aren't good, but we have some indications uh, that, that help us. Equally so on the internet, dealing with intermediaries that have dispute resolution policies or even things on eBay. eBay try, has tried to in institute a kind of a collaborative filtering mechanism by which people will, by which people will give each other uh, comments on who's a good buyer, who's a good seller. And that also can be um, a help in determining how you do your online activities. Of course, even that's not foolproof because sometimes people will game their own uh, ratings to try to get a rating that they're not actually um, entitled to. So it, I suppose that Dave being the contracts professor could tell us, but I suppose there's still a good bit of caveat emptor out there on the internet.